Hello, VOD people. Okay, so what we're building here is a an app to use with the rule set for aerial combat published in the third issue of Arcadia, which is a D&D uh, &D magazine published by MCDM. So I've I've gone a couple of rounds with this, but I but I I finally, you might say, ended up with the conclusion that I want to really simplify what I want to be in version one, basically. Instead of automating a lot of stuff, I'm just gonna make like a game board that actually works, which you can use to move around stuff. And then, on, and then add on to it as as time goes. Basically, I just want something out of the door. Is basically what I'm saying. Ugh. Sorry about that. So, let's see. Uh, maybe I should turn on this actually. Well, my face is brighter. Might not be the right color to use, but eh, I don't know about this. <clears throat> so, what we want to do first is, we got these buttons which actually do work, or they did did work previously. Uh, did I change something that makes them not work? I don't think so. Well, we're getting some... Uh, current altitude is not defined. Okay, so we're getting some errors. Uh, let me just check if, yeah, so the, the compiler thing, oh, the compiler thing is um, running at the moment. So that should be, well, actually just, let's just restart this just to be sure, like so. Let's hide that. Let's see if that helps over here. Nope. Okay, that's fine though. <clears throat> We're going to come back to that. At a later point, I think. So what we're going to do first is we are going to because we have these to add actors to the to the combat. So that's what I'm calling the different combatants. So they're called actors. Um, so we already have a solution for this, and I, I wrote a lot of code that way uh, a little while back, which auto generates a lot of different. Names uh, or it are, generates different actors for me. This is some really simple logic, but I'm just going to reuse that for now. So, what I want to do first is just being able to like move, add actors, and then move them on the board will probably be very useful in the beginning. So, I think that's what we're going to do first. I kind of hate that I'm doing that first in the sense that. Drag and drop is something that I haven't done properly before. So I'm not really sure how well that's going to go. But I'm hoping that um, it'll turn out fine. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna. Hmm, I'm kind of tempted just to redo everything. Actually, oh, that's that's a lot of work, though. Because hmm. I I might I might be thinking that this is gonna get in our way, anyways. Nah, you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna go with it and see how it works out. Okay, so let's see. First of all, we need to make the actor thing work again. So that's apparently not working at the moment because of altitude is not defined. Uh, let's see, that should be in here somewhere. So that's over here. Is it because actors are not defined? But that shouldn't trigger when we click this. 
and it doesn't. No, okay, that's fine. So this tries to run at, in the beginning, but there are no actors in this scene or, or actors here, so it doesn't have any any stuff to iterate over. I think. Oh, maybe it's old data actually. Uh, let's just uh, have a look in our local storage. And we see that there is something called encounter state. So let's just delete that and try to do this. No, wait a second. We need to refresh first. There we go. Empty actors. Right. That's better. Uh, did we get any errors? No. Just a warning. That's fine. Here we go. It prints zero and it adds it here. Okay, that's good. That's a good start. Why does it print zero though? Uh, I could just check where it was printing from index vault. Hmm. Yeah, that didn't help. <laughs> uh, is it in here somewhere? Console. Ah, here we go. Number of actors. Yeah, so it prints that before we add actors. That's fine. Okay, there we go. So now we're able to act actor, add actors again. Whoa. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so this is some of the other stuff that I built. I'm not going to reuse this, I've, I've decided, but uh, I'll just leave it here for now. And this is the turn tracker or combat tracker, which tracks whose turn it is. You can't see my cursor, but yeah, the thing that I'm highlighting. So we're just going to add a few of these. And I've, I've set it up for, for four players, basically. It's just four players that iterate over and over when I auto-generate stuff. So we'll just leave it with these four, and you're able to move the next turn. So it's Amy, Rory, Bill, and the, the DM's turn, and then go, goes back to Amy. So I've set, all, set all, up all this plumbing, so I'm just going to keep that around for now, even though I'm probably going to move this stuff around. For example, this Add Actor button should be up here, I think, or that's my current design, or up in the upper right corner. That's my current design, at least. So, let's see. At the moment, you're able to change the altitude of someone by just doing like minus, uh, or rather, minus one, and it moves. Oh, what, uh, no, wait a second. Uh, oh, you, you set it to five. Is that it? No, that's not it. <laughs> it might not be working at all, uh, actually. Does it print any errors? Yeah. Current altitude is undefined. Ooh, that's not good. Do these characters not have altitude defined on them? That's weird. I should do that. Uh, do 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 do. Actors. Add actor. Uh, let's see. This altitude right there. Is it current or altitude that's not undefined? Uh, let's have a look. Uh, if we do this and just print current. Oh, that's what we want. There we go. Wow, that is not very promising. Okay. <clears throat> DM has an undefined altitude for some reason. Okay, that is interesting. Why does DM have a... Ooh, this might be something... Do we divide by anything? It might be something to do with zero, I think. Maybe, maybe. It gets the number of actors, the length. So it should be zero. Uh, what is this? Oh. <coughs> oh, I'm 
sorry. <laughs> I thought I had a bit more time. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, an actor, yes. So it takes first a name. So we just spread this uh, one of these uh, one of these inner arrays to this function, and this function does takes a name which we define for everyone. So that's fine. A flight modifier, right? Then an opening altitude. That's the third one. Yep. Initiative, and then. A player which is a string yeah okay but apparently the altitude is out of act sometimes so it becomes not a number for the DM the f opening altitude right so that's the third one <clears throat> Two times the number of actors, right? Modulo 10 plus two. Why plus 10? Or modulo 10, I mean, because there are 10 possible altitudes, I'm guessing. That's not right. Yeah, because we don't... Well, that's not right at all. I don't really get why it's like this. Why 10? We don't want it to be 1, which is why we're adding... Oh, right, 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 right. There's still something... I, it's still, I still think there's something wrong here. <clears throat> Why is it two times the number of actors? This is five. This is six. This is four. Why that number? Is it just to make it a bit random? I think it is. Okay. That's fine. So two times the number of actors. So if this is actor number, there already is three actors. This will be 6, modulo 10, which is 6, plus 2 is 8. So that should be fine. That should be a number. Why does it claim it's not? That is strange. That is really bizarre. Oh, no, no, no. Right. I modified it, of course. That's why it's acting up. Okay. So let's, <laughs> let's do this again. Delete this. Refresh it. Then we'll add a few actors, doop, 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 like so. And I think that when we click it, you're supposed to type the new, the new altitude. So this should be five, I think. There we go, okay. So it kind of screwed it up when it was minus one. It didn't know what to do, apparently. But this works. Okay, so we're able to do that. But we want to make it a bit more intuitive than that. We want to make it possible to click and drag. Or drag and drop. If you will. So, uh, how do we do that? Well, we... Uh, Could use in libraries, but I don't think drag and drop is too difficult to implement ourselves. Which would which would give us more flexibility, I think. Which is desirable. Let's see. How large are these? These stretch across. Okay, so these are really easy hit targets. That's nice. These are articles. Where do we render these? Right here. We'll call them layers. Okay. Mm. 
Not really sure why we call them layers, but sure. I probably had a good and good reason for that when I wrote it. Let's hope. If not, you know, naming things, difficulty, etc. Um. So what we want to do is basically we want to grab one of these which is just a div with no class or anything attached to it. That's fine. Let's have a quick look. Uh, let's see. If you ever try to implement, uh, I'm looking up some stuff here, and I'm thinking that we might just You know what? We might we might just want to do this with the library. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. Any list container to a drag and drop zone. It relies on its host to update the list data when requested to do so. It also relies on its host to help out with some of the animations. Okay. Right. Uh, let's see. Okay, you're not going to see any of this because I'm. Uh, that is a quite a, quite a funny uh, example. Okay, <clears throat> so what they're showing here is that you just okay. I think we're just going to try this and see if we can get this working. So there is a package called uh, Svelte DND Action, which I've heard of before, and apparently it is uh, quite popular. So yeah. Is production ready? Okay. More like an API, no slot props, thanks God. <laughs> this was more control, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we're gonna add this. Let's show you my console, yarn, add. It adds it to development. That's probably fine. We'll do that. Svelte, D&D, action. 
I'm assuming you, you don't really need it at runtime because you're compiling it in when using Svelte. So yeah, that probably makes sense. Okay, yarn dev to get it up and running again. So we just need to import D and D zone. Have some items. We do that. We have those, and then it just updates the items. Okay. Yeah, because that's one way to do it. Right. Right. Okay. Let's uh, let's see. So we got our thing. Let's remove the uh, the thing over here, and let's see if we can get this to work. So, we got the layer altitude. Right from layers as layer right because this renders the actual layers in the app then it goes through all the players of that layer and renders them right okay so this might turn out a bit weird but let's give it a shot and see how it works out so i think we're going to do this up here We're gonna add a, yeah, let's go with a section, that's fine. Okay. Like so. And we're gonna, in, instead of this, we're gonna use the action. So import DND zone, yes. Not up here, rather down here. Then we're going to use it, use D and D zone, and we're going to pass in an object with the items being hmm. <clears throat> this is where. I'm 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 a bit uncertain on how it knows which are which. So we're gonna start by passing in. I think we have a view of like the actors. Current uh, blah 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 blah. Turn phase. Blah blah blah. We call this the arena, which is the actors converted into the different layers of the combat. This might actually turn out more difficult than it should be. But, well. Because we're operating in two different. Um, Uh, I'm really uncertain on what to put in here. So I think we're just going to go and counter state the actors and see how that turns out, I think. Okay. Let's add in some... Oop, no, we're not going to add in some actors, apparently. Let's see, did something crash? It very much did. Altitude is undefined. Oh, come on. Should probably just turn off the storing of the old values, but here we are. Okay. Okay, so we've got the players. 
Let's make this a bit smaller. Okay, so I'm able to move this. This is cool. <laughs> Where, where'd it go? <laughs> it just disappeared. Okay. Woo! <laughs> okay, that's a bit funny, but sure. Okay. So we're able to pick this up. So it's noticing somehow that we're, we've got the layers in here. And it's picking up the whole layer. And that's not what we want at all. <clears throat> I have a feeling that we might get into the advanced usage pretty quickly. Because from what I'm seeing, you're able to do this. Like a Okay, play this example in the REPL. Okay. Yes, this is basically what I have. Yes, so I'm able to take this and just move it into here. Wow, that's cool. Okay, if we can get this working, then we're in, in a pretty good place. So we've got all these items. We've got this board, right? It has sub items. Items one. There's one. Okay. So got these boards, right, right. And how does it work is magic. Oh, right, okay, so we need to look into every... <laughs> okay. Sure, that's fine. Okay, so got three... Uh, right, okay. So you're able to move stuff between these two pretty easily. That's noticeable. The ones, okay. Got it working. Yeah. So those two are the vertical lists. So let's have a look at those and see if we can get those working. Rather, mm hmm. Well, these horizontal lists are eerily similar to what I'm doing. So let's have a look at those instead, shall we? Because I think those are. Two next ones, yeah. Okay. Right. <clears throat> so we're in pouring flip and D D zone. We got some items, blah blah blah, some setup, flip durations, whatever, whatever. And we're just copying this stuff. Okay. I might I'm gonna come back to that later. Then we've got some styling. And then we've got the section, right, with, right, right, right. Items, flip duration, fine, fine. Okay, so these aren't, these aren't crazy. Um, so apparently it's, it, it's able to move these across these two just with the flip thing. As long as they're, hmm. But where does it put the? So it puts it. Uh, so instead of doing it here, we should be doing it here. I think that kind of makes more sense actually. So just around that each like so. Let's save that and see how that works out. So, <laughs> the players are back. Okay, okay. So it shows us the possible drop targets. Uh, not sure what that is. So it worked once, then it stopped working. So that's progress, I guess. 
Ooh. Yeah, we're doing a lot of printing here. Let's just uh, remove that. Let's see, where do we? Uh, console. Yeah, let's remove that line. Altitude is undefined. Why is it undefined all the time? That it doesn't make okay. Well, it kind of makes sense in this context with this thing just being moved. Oh, right, because I canceled it. That's why it's undefined. Okay, so I might just want to remove that immediately just to stop having that problem. So, uh, change altitude. What does it do? It pops a prompt, tries to parse it, and then updates the actor. Right, we don't want to do that at the moment. No, we don't want to. So let's just remove that. Uh, let's just remove the change altitudes thing. Like so. That clears that up. Let's go back here. Let's go into the storage. Let's just remove this. Like so. We'll refresh. We'll add the actors back in, like so, and then we'll be able to move it again. So let's try this, which works nicely, and then it freaks out because it doesn't have a target. L is undefined. Okay. Um, so let's see why that is. So from the example that we got over here, it looks like as long as you're <clears throat> handling let's see. You're you, you've got handle and finalize. And what it does in those is just assign items from the items thing. So what it looks like is considering that I would put this here, what should it look like? And then, then it says, oh, well, it would look like this. And that's fine. And then it puts it in there, if that's the case. So what I'm wondering is, hmm, where should we update our thing to make this work properly? So we've we're able to pick up this stuff because of the the players, right? So when we lift up the player and put it somewhere else, we will will probably will receive will receive a list um hmm This shouldn't be the all of the things. This should just be the layer of players, actually. Let's go over here. Let this refresh. This should still work. It does. But when I drop it over here, it should update layer five instead. Right. How do we know we're on layer five? Let's figure that out. So what it's telling us is whenever we consider it should do something so what was it um on consider right on consider um handle consider let's start there go up here let's move that in here somewhere uh at the bottom. Handle consider. Uh, 
let's actually add E in here. Let's just start with printing E and see what that gives us. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> okay, that's better. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Got a lot of stuff to consider, apparently. Let's expand this and see where we're at. Bubbles, blah, 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 blah. This is just regular stuff. But this detailed thing, that's what we want. We've got a few other objects in this area here. So we've got info and items. And the items are just the one item, right? And that's our thing. Okay. <clears throat> I see that it's putting an ID in here. Which is interesting because I, because I think I've also got an ID on these objects, which is not ideal. But what we also got is this info object. It doesn't say anything interesting about the event itself in a detail, I'd say. Event phase zero. Okay, so it's saying that you should be be putting you should be putting stuff inside of the array at this point. So let's just have a look at the, right? Uh, that's the body. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's <laughs> that's hovering on its on a layer of itself right now. Okay, that's fine. So it doesn't know where to put it, basically. But what it's saying is, well, if you you should consider putting this in your array. The problem is, however, I don't know which thing it's hovering over. I need to know that. Hmm. It says ID if but does that help me anyway? Let me see. If I inspect this number five, do I recognize that name anywhere? No. That doesn't help me at all. Consider and focus, right? That's the previous article. That's this one. That's nothing nothing inside of it. Uh does this have like a name? No. Okay. So each each layer should really be its own component for it to be able to hold its own list, which will make it possible for it to know which list to update. Yes, I think that's right. Okay, so we're gonna need to build a it's called layers, but I'm not really sure if I'm if I'm happy with that name. I should just call it altitude because that's really what it is. Well, it's a layer, like okay, yeah, that kind of makes sense. An altitude layer, you may say, might say. It's great. We're gonna call it an altitude layer, <laughs> just to make it a bit more. Uh, I think I, I remember why I called it layer, because it's layers of of like the the if you split the the aerial space into different sections each section would probably be called a layer because they're on top of each other so that kind of makes sense uh all altitude uh, altitude layer 
and <clears throat> we're gonna have to explain to it which layer it is. That should probably just be a number. Yeah, I think so. So let's just start with that uh, layer. And it should be an int. Oh, that's not what we call it in JavaScript. <laughs> it's a number. No, actually, actually, it's an altitude. There we go. Hey, hey. Because altitude is a very specific thing in my applications, which is kind of nice um, because I've defined altitude. You can, you can actually look at this. So altitude is just a... Uh, what's it called in TypeScript? Discriminated union? No, a union type maybe? Yeah, so it's a it's a union type of the numbers one through 12. And you might say, well, that's just a number. Why define it as a different type? Well, because when you're working with JavaScript, no, rather TypeScript, TypeScript can actually check for you if you're actually passing in one through 12, as uh, which are the only valid values for an altitude. So you're making it more difficult to use it incorrectly. So yeah, it, this is an altitude, so it can only be one through 12. And that's an easy way to check it. So the type system is actually doing an if check for me to see, well, is this number larger than one and less than 13? Well, yeah, it have to be because that's what the type says. Anyway, <laughs> uh, back to the actual thing. So if we go back here into index, Let's just move down to like where we define the layer, right? And let's see how much of this are we going to move down? Well, or rather move into. So we're not going to copy this, I think, not this. So it should probably be from this article onwards. Right? Yeah. So let's bring these 11 lines into here. Like so. Do we have like, uh, yeah, so we have a, well, actually we can just, <laughs> let's just bring the whole style thing into here. There we go. <laughs> okay. The layers, where do we define them? Up here, it appear, appears, appear, blah, appears, arena, right? And we'll make all these layers. Mm -hmm. Ah, here we go. Layers. Get the keys from the arena, sort them in descending order, and map them th to this, which is an altitude and the players. Right, okay. So, rather, if we define something called a layer, that's actually more helpful. Uh, is it in, no, no, not in rules. Where do we define all these handy dandy uh, things? state. Well, that's not very helpful in this case. Maybe we should define these somewhere else. I'm kind of tempted just to have, to have like a type file, which contains all these different types, which everyone just depends on. Because you're going to use these anyway, just like types. Hmm. Well, I'm going to start with a type file now. So let's TypeScript types. And we're going to export a uh, uh, an interface called altitude layer. And it's going to have a altitude, which is a number, and a list of players, which is an Play player array, actor array, I think. Import statement, yeah. Uh, 
let's see, in index, where are they? Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Those are just the actors directly, right? Yeah. Okay. So instead of getting a layer, we're actually going to get a, yeah, we're going to get getting a layer, but it's of a type layer. And we're going to import it from, we're going to import layer. No, it's not called, it's called altitude, alti, okay, let's just remove this over here, altitude layer. There we go. That one. Yes. Uh, let's remove this. Uh, let's remove that. That's going to fix that thing. A layer the altitude. That's going to work out fine. Uh, we need to import the D, D zone. Let's just go up here, grab this, paste it in here. Handle consider. Let's just copy that too. Where are you? There we go. Let's just paste that in here. Okay. Now we're pretty much back at where we were. But at this point, we know actually which layer we're on. So we're able to grab. We should be able to grab the correct player. But I think we're going to get screwed by D, D action actually overriding our ID, which is hella annoying. But there we go. So, but just let's just see if we can get this um, this layer component working first. So in here, we're going to use altitude layer, and we're going to pass in the layer, which is layer. Ah, right. We can just do this actually. Layer. Get a shorthand, and that seems to work. Awesome. Very nice. We're still able to grab. It still crashes. That's fine. Very nice that we got we got this working. So inside the altitude layer, what are we getting? We're still console logging. I'm thinking, yeah. But I, I also want to check what it does once. Uh, sure, just. just <laughs> reuse it for now uh, on finalize just use handle consider consider and we'll see how it turns out okay so this is okay here we go so if we pull that over here drop it Consider, consider, consider. L is undefined. Okay. So we're getting some kind of error over there. That's fine. Source element and everything. Okay. So we're getting some interesting data here, but we're not going to dive too much into that but we're going to use detail because that's interesting an array yeah, you see it's it's got the one item but it's overwritten the id which is quite frustrating because we're actually using that we're actually setting that inside of the actor so it's kind of annoying that it's overwriting that for us Urgh. Um, const, oh, it's actually suggesting one of these. Nice. Uh, handle finalize. Let's 
Let's see. It always says consider. Okay. Can I... If you comment this out, I will know for certain that I'm operating with the right handler, right? It says, okay, here we go. Oh, it doesn't even print. Right, okay. So it's freaking out before it, it manages to print. So it doesn't know what element it's hitting. L is undefined. That's so strange, but okay. Sure, we can we can do something with this, I think. So yeah, this article, it it is... There is something here. Oh, might it be because it's not? Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. So inside of handle consider, we are getting the ID, but we are getting screwed that it's overriding our ID. So if we go to state. Whoa, that's not the one. <laughs> state. That's the one. <clears throat> uh, and have a look at actors, right? So we have an ID right here, which is a string, which is annoying that they're overwriting, but let's do actor ID, like so, which will screw up a few of these. But that's fine because we can change those. Uh. It's hella annoying, but sure, actor ID. Okay, do we have any? Right, we have a lot of references to this. Ugh, it's so annoying that I have to change this. Sure, let's fix it now. Uh, any references to ID? Yeah. Whew. Right. Okay. Wow, this is, uh, okay. This looks to be it. Let's go back here. Yep, this is a uh, bug now. So let's go to storage, remove this. Should probably just not keep this around like this, but it was supposed to ease my <laughs> development uh, or rather the testing burden, but it's not really working out for me. Uh, where is this? I probably do need to do a, another check inside of here. I want everything that has ID. No. Oh, altitude layer. Uh, slash ID. No, okay. Strange. Yeah, where is this? Oh, it's missing an ID. Oh, oh. It's freaking out now because it doesn't have an idea. That's interesting. Okay, let's go. <sighs> okay, let's go back and <laughs> refer all these changes. Uh, let's see. Uh, whoop, that's too far. It's not far enough. And this one. And this one. Not that one. And then let's go to state. Do the same over here. Okay, now we're back to square one. And I think we maybe need to actually specify specifically here that you can use player dot uh, dot idea for 
specific IDs. Maybe that helps. All right, okay, this is an interesting situation. So now we need to go here, delete this, go back over here, refresh. Add a few actors. Able to grab this. Ooh. Okay, interesting. We're still getting the element undefined thing, but I think we're getting closer. So, no, actually, let's let's uncomment this again and see what we're getting now. Okay. So if we expand this consider thing, go into details. No, not that one. Items. The first one. Let's have a look. ID. Okay, that looks like our ID. Okay. So now it's using the proper ID. Okay, that's a lot more helpful. Okay, so I thought I was overwriting it. The problem was I wasn't setting a specific ID for the iterator to use, so it made its own, and <laughs> that created a bit of problems. But okay, so now it, now it knows how to handle this. Excellent. So when we get this, it's basically telling us this should be your array at the moment, right? So what we want to do is for each player, E dot detail dot items, which is an actor, set the actor dot altitude to layer dot altitude. Actually, this shouldn't be called players at all, it should be actors because it is a list of actors. Uh, if I do this, it should be able to change that for me everywhere. Probably not going to work, but you know, worth trying. Yeah, so update the altitude for all the actors in this list and then uh, grab the encounter state. Uh, which we already did import in index. So let's just get it from there. Uh, no, rather encounter state update actor with the updated actor. Okay, this creates something interesting. Let's see. <clears throat> Each only iterates over air like objects. Okay, that's interesting. We're getting this error. Why? Unrecoverable error in altitude layer. Next update will trigger a full reload. Okay. That's not very promising. Uh, let's go in here and just reset this for sanity's sake. Reload this. Okay. Are we getting any errors? Yes, already. Okay. Um, this is how we update the actors, though, isn't it? been a while so I have to think about it now add actor I think you just pass update actor to the to the thing yeah 
I think so. So it's freaking out because of Hmm, okay. Is it freaking out because there are... Hmm. Why is it freaking out though? Well, actually, hmm, maybe it shouldn't try to update this right here. For the consider thing, it maybe shouldn't do that. Okay, let's just table this for now and rather just say that layer.actors should be e.detail. Items. It's called detail though, isn't it? I think so. Okay. Let's try to say that. Okay, that's still producing an error. Yep, in every way. Okay. Unrecoverable error. That's not very helpful. Hmm. Let's restart the compiler in the background here. Okay, ah, and now it's giving me a different error, right? You can see it here too. Can't read property length of undefined. Attitude layer, altitude layer, row 30. Um, of undefined? Might it be undefined? That doesn't... That doesn't seem right. Okay, let's have a look at how we actually make these layers. Here we go. But they should be empty arrays, if nothing else. Why are they undefined? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Empty arrays, are they not initialized when loaded? Is that the deal? Well, hmm, interesting. They're now all empty. Is that a problem? Let's let's actually log layer here. See what we get. Uh, okay, so I'm getting errors in the compiler output actually. So alt an altitude of six. Let's have a look at in the storage and see what it loads. Loads an empty array. So players is empty and it kind of read property length of undefined. Layer dot actors. It's apparently not able to read. Huh. Oh, right, because it's still getting players as a as a variable. Okay, okay, okay. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, let's try this again. So, <clears throat> somewhere it's still called players, and I'm assuming this is over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Actors, that's what we want. Well, I think so. I think it is. Nope, we're still getting some errors. 
do we call players anywhere? Well, we do play and call it. Ah, here we go. Okay, this is the length that it's actually freaking out about. Okay. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Adding some actors. Trying to move this. Okay. Well, it snaps back now. That's an improvement, I think. Um, let's have a look in the console. Ooh, it ran finalized. Ooh, this is really interesting. So that means it's actually working. Wow, okay, then it apparently stopped working after the first try. But sure, this is progress. <laughs> let's not discount the progress that we got, okay. So for the finalized thing, are we still getting the same kind of details inside of here? So we get info, uh, which is triggered, dropped outside of any pointer, blah, 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 blah. Not very interesting. We get an items thing with just the one item again. Um, okay, not very helpful. Can I grab this? Yes. And it snaps back. Okay. That's interesting. So, I think that means... The question becomes, right. Okay, this stuff's working after... <laughs> After you drop it some random place. So that but that's fine. That's fine. We'll 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 figure that out later. If I drop this here, what does it give me? That's what I'm interested in. Because presumably there would be two items in this array now, right? Uh no, this this array. Length one, okay. It's just got Rory, which is this one. Does that mean? Hmm. Okay, let's let's refresh this. Let's start over with blank sheets. If I drop this here, I would assume that it would try to list both the DM and Rory, but it does not. It just lists the DM. Why does it though? Why does it though? I've updated the actors. Hmm. In theory though, right here. Yeah, I'm not really sure how to, to Consistently pick the right This list of items if we go by this Whenever Handle D&D finalize It does the same thing for both of these so it looks like when you pull this over here It says you should consider put it how 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 would this look if you put this item in here? Do that for me, and it does that, right? But then, on finalize, you're saying that, yeah. Whatever you just considered, that should now be the, the final one. But that's not what we're getting here. We're not getting the, the list as I imagined we we do. Why are we not getting any of the other, like, if I, if I, if I hover this over here, I would assume that I would be getting, huh, interesting. Let's just try to, hmm. Let's try. OK, 
Okay, so we know that e dot detail items, the first one, is an actor. So let's just start with that actor equals as actor. Yeah, and this is not going to import that for now. And then we're going to update the altitude of the actor, altitude, to layer dot altitude, like so. Then we're going to do encounter state dot update actor with this actor. Let's refresh this. See what happens if I do this. Nothing. Well, this still works, which is an update, I guess. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's print the actor after we've updated it and see what that does. Okay, we're back. We drop this here. Let's see. Altitude is still six. Why is it though? Wait, wait a sec. Wait, 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 wait. What we're we're it's six. We're still on layer six though. Why does it finalize on layer six? Okay, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's. <laughs> yeah. It does. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. So this, so the finalized action happens on layer six. I thought it would. And that's the only finalized action that we're getting. Wait, 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 okay, let's clear this out for now. Okay, let's see. We're trying to move this down here. Yeah, we're only getting the finalized for layer six. Because that's where we're moving it from. But why isn't layer 5 receiving anything? Is that because the... Is that because it's empty? So if I do this, this, and this... Whew, this is a time consuming process. This needs to have like a, like a size for it to be... Hmm, that is interesting. Maybe that's... Okay, let's see. Inspect this. So the article has a size, but that's not what we're interested in. We're interested in what's in this section, I guess. Let's see. How does it style the actual... Yeah, so this is a width. That is interesting. Container width. 200 of the view size. That's interesting. That is really interesting. Is that really relevant? I wonder. Container width, does it change? No, it's just set to 200 view width. Why not why not put it as a static size? Why why this? Well, it does define a size. That is interesting. Okay, so if we go back here. This section. 
How large is that? It does, it's not large at all. That might be the problem, actually. Okay. What if... Let's just style the section directly and see what happens. Section. Height. 100%. Width. That's not width. Width. 100%. How does that change the layout? I wonder. Uh, nope, that's not what I want. Uh, that's one. Okay. So if we now click on this. Inspect it. Okay, but actually I'm more interested in, that, that was not, this one is interesting, expand that, and it's got a section, okay, this section is really collapsed, H2, okay, so the article, <clears throat> but the section though, it's really wide, but it doesn't have a height. Right, maybe it needs a min height. That's actually what we need, min height. And I think these have like a set size of sorts. Oh, let's just inspect that directly. It's 40 by 40. So let's say that it needs to be 40 by 40 by default. Okay. So if we now inspect this number four, like so, the H2, we got the section. Okay, now it doesn't have any width, but it does. But it, wow, really? Okay, right. Layer, display flex. That doesn't really help anymore as we're, okay. Layer token. Yeah, this is where you would define that it's 40 by 40, right? Layer, uh, this is supposed to be in line, right? So actually, let's, oop, that's not what I want. Uh, let's do this, move it in here. We'll change this layer token container. We'll call this section that, class. Oh, no, just a regular one. Layer, token container. Uh, this is... I don't think we need to flex it, but... Hmm. It is strange that we don't... So it's, it's 40 high, but it doesn't have any width uh no that makes sense because i didn't define any width wow okay i, I wrote width instead of height so width 100 percent. yeah so if we now go back here yeah here we go okay this is going to be interesting if we now go back to console and we try to drop this ah look now we're getting i don't don't know i don't think you're oh Sorry about that. I put this on top of the screen for a long time. Anyway, this is working now. <laughs> We're now getting the drop zones. You're not probably not seeing that. Uh, you might be seeing it on stream. But now we're getting the drop zones properly. Ooh, okay. This is happening. Right. That makes sense. I was just thinking about that. We need to uh, do a display over here. Flex. Think so here we go <laughs> are you kidding me this is so cool why are they different sizes i don't know what is happening here why is it always sorting it like this uh that's strange but very interesting indeed uh right because it's showing it like that and then mm, <laughs> right Not really sure what determines which. Oh wait, what? What is happening now? Why is it changing? Oh yeah, okay, that was working. Huh? Why is it? Okay. 
Do you need to drop it like on the thing to make it? What? Oh, okay. That's a bit weird. Uh, let's inspect this. It does go the whole width. But it needs to know like, okay, you're... This works fine, but this does not? Wait, what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <sighs> okay. Uh, well, that's annoying. It, oh, it looks like it puts it there, but then it changes afterwards. So it might be something with the finalized thing. Okay, let's see what my console is. Oh, okay. Actor is undefined. That's interesting. Ooh, okay, there's a lot of these. So there is a problem here. Oh, right, because it's empty. Right, because I'm doing this hack thing. Okay, okay, let's let's fix that. Um, so if, if I drop it like here, what do we get in the console output? Oh, sorry about that. Let's scroll down and see. We're both getting a, a finalized for four and three, right? So we go over here, ha, huh. right? For three and five, five and, no, oh, okay. Yeah, we're probably getting, yes, yeah, so it's freaking out because we're getting like the, okay, yeah. Yeah, so it's finalizing for four and then it crashes because we don't have a, okay. Of course, we're leaving five and five doesn't have any things. In, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So I think we're actually back to doing this thing. Or rather, this thing. Just for, yeah, like this. Let's try that, yeah. Okay, let's move four up to five. That works, no errors. Let's move down here. <sighs> that works too, that is so cool. Okay, those don't change order, but that's fine. Oh, that's so cool, it is actually working. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, okay. That's really nice. Oh, okay. Um, looks like I am summoned by my wife. So that's apparently the end of the stream for now. Maybe for tonight at all. Um, I'll let you know if I... I'll tweet and stuff if I go back live, but yeah, that's it for now. So thanks for staying. I hope to see you next time. It's not his.